All right, hi everyone. Uh, it's Fam here again for MTG Ontario, and we're bringing you another Scars of Mirrodin 8-4 draft. And um, just decided to do one today. Um, I know it's kind of like uh, it's been a while before since I was getting into a regular pace of getting into draft videos, but I'm gonna try and keep things up as much as possible. Also, um, if anyone's, uh, if any of you that actually um, are close friends of mine that actually have been to my house before, there's actually uh, steps that go down to my room. Um, and those steps are currently being varnished today, so I'm gonna be trapped into my in my room until early tomorrow morning when the steps dry. So you know what else better to do than uh, record a draft video? So uh, I want to have a quick. Uh, I want to do a quick shout out to um, uh, some members of the uh, Canadian national team, particularly uh, Pascal Maynard, who finished I think it was 37th at Worlds, and um, splitting with uh, Noah Long. They both came out uh, pretty decently ahead in terms of uh, the monies. And it uh, looks like No Long actually gained a point going 10-6-2 at, uh, at, at Worlds. And um, I think Pascal is also qualified for Paris now too, off his 37th place finish. And uh, so that means No Long and Pascal Maynard, as far as I know, is other, are other Canadians that are currently queued for uh, Paris. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to see them there in a couple months. All right, let's get into this draft. Um, engulfing Slagworm, um, I think it's alright. I don't know how big of a bomb it is. The thing is, I hate drafting green and not being poison. Um, looking at the rest of this pack, you, it's, the picks are between Mirror Smith, which is like a complete house, uh, Tumble Magnet, and maybe Corpse Cur. Um, I think, to me, I'd actually rather just take the Mirror Smith here, because I think, in a vacuum, it's one of the most powerful cards. Um, and Tumble Magnet is really close, it's a very solid semi removal spell and I really like it. So I think taking the Mirror Smith here first and then maybe the person to our left is going to take the Worm or the Magnet. So, which is probably fine for us. I prefer them to take the Worm to kind of keep us open in sort of a Metalcraft plan, but anyways. Um, this pack for us has uh, Revoke Existence, Copper Mirror, um, Wall of Tangle Cord, Forge Master, uh, Trinket Mage, Grafted Exoskeleton. Looks like an Uncommon is missing, so they probably took either like something like a Skin Render, Oxida Scrap Melter, or something like that. Who knows? Like something crazy. So we can't really don't really know what the person to our right is in. It's only one pick in, anyways. So I think the pick for us is uh, Revoke, Exis Revoke, Revoke Existence. Blah blah blah. Can't talk today. Um, yeah. So Revoke Existence is in our color. It's a solid removal spell, and it's one of the best ways, one of the best removal spells in this format because it deals with uh, Dark Steel things. And, uh, yeah, seems fine to me. The other option I would think is maybe the Copper Mirror, which is a cheap artifact, a mirror, and, you know, helps our Metalcraft plan. So, but anyways, take the rule consistence and staying on color. Uh, Mindslaver, not a big fan, not in this format. Uh, finds too slow, doesn't do enough. Um, I think our picks come down to, uh, Origin, Spell Bomb, Strider Harness, Sun Chaser, maybe, maybe the Mind Slaver, I don't really, I'd probably just take Origin Spell Bomb over anything in this pack, because I don't really want to take Barrage Ogre here, because that put us in the second color right away, and I'm not really sure we want to pick a second color yet, and I'm kind of just happy taking an artifact, which keeps us semi-metal-crafted, it's cheap artifact triggers our Mirror Smith, and it's white, sort of, so yeah, seems fine to me. Um, this pack... We got, um, let's see, I mean, we got Carrying Call and Untamed Might as potential poison cards coming from our right. Clearly, we're probably not going to be able to go poison at this point because white doesn't pair well with poison. So our other options are uh, Gold Mirror and Galma's Warden and maybe even Bladed Pinion. So that's probably like the least out of the, like, well, sorry, I also missed the Abuna Acolyte as well. To me, it's between like the Gold Mirror and the Galma's Warden. And if this is a... A Chrome Steed, I'd probably snap it up, but uh, the Goblins Warden is a colored Metalcraft creatures. I don't really like them, but although amongst them, this is the the one that I only I really do like because it's decent on its own. But Gold Mirror is perfectly fine. It's on color and it's cheap artifact, so I'm going to keep it and stay on stay on course. Um, that's that would be two engulfing slagworms. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think. It might be a signal to take green, but then I'm not 100% sure where I want to go with that. It doesn't look like red is particularly open because I don't see any particularly high red picks coming this point, but 
Green's definitely open from our right, so I think we can take it at this point. It's kind of slow. Like I don't like the I don't like green creatures that are not in effect. But then green white could work out. Um, we got stuff like Silver Up Replica, which will probably come to us. So who knows? I guess yeah. I, I think I'll pick it up here. It's better than Mirror Galvanizer, which is our other choice. So um, let's see. I guess if we're gonna go green, we could take the Horizon Spell Bomb. The Furnace Celebration, I'm not even gonna look at at this point because we didn't see a clear signal of going red before, and I don't like drafting like these gimmicky type of decks at this like without having like a clear signal. I mean, I guess arguably we could go it. We have a Spell Bomb as we're starting off right now, but Engulfing Slagworm is probably just better value overall in one card than uh, than a Spell Furnace Celebration is. So I'll probably just stay the course and take a. Horizon Spell Bomb, which seems fine. It's a cheap artifact to keep us metal crafted and, you know, triggers Mirrorsmith and whatnot. It's all good. Um, this pack doesn't have a whole lot going for us. Uh, Tower of Calamities is probably like a reasonable consideration. Like, I'm not going to play Soul Parry, Trigon, Mending, Spell, spell Bomb, or Circlet in my deck. <clears throat> I think, like, if we end up picking up a bunch of mirrors later, we could, uh, the Tower of Calamities could see play since we need some sort of mana sink. And if we're going to be playing sort of a mana, style deck since we have engulfing slagworm then I guess Tower of Calamities is fine. Um nothing really here that we want to play oh wait, there's a Molder Beast, so that could actually work well with our spell bomb. So I'll take the Molder Beast and see where we can go with there. Um Nothing really here other than the Molder Beast again. I don't want to fill our deck with like colored creatures though. Ideally I want to be picking up uh, artifact creatures and like they're just infinite Molder Beasts coming, so I guess there's nothing okay I'm not gonna play more than two Molder Beasts so I'll take a withstand death, so it's a reasonable trick. Um, I'd actually rather just take Carapress Forger 100% over Oriok Sun Chaser, because at least it's a, a bear is better than a 1 1. So, uh, Untamed Mites on color. And yeah. So, seems okay. Like, our deck's not exciting, exciting right now, but it has a plan. I think it revolves, it revolves around picking up a bunch of, like, mana mirrors of like any type at this point so we have a lot we have lots of ways to sink our mana in the late game <coughs> and then just cheap artifacts like well mana mirrors again so mana mirrors for us will be uh dual purposes will serve dual purposes so uh let's see goal marson is good um i mean kind of sucks passing his volition range but we didn't see a strong blue signal either um, it's Golem Artisan or Gold Mirror, I think, in the picks here. Um, we have a lot, we have a couple ways to sink our mana in the late game already. I'm not sure, because we, we passed a Copper Mirror already. Uh, I think it's still early enough that we can actually pass on this mirror and hopefully be able to pick up at least a couple more. Um, yeah, I think Golem Artisan is just so powerful that I can't afford to pass it at this point, so I'm just going to take it here. Sucks passing that gold mirror though, but whatever. See, there you go, there's a copper mirror. Um, but this pack also has Spike Shot Elder Revoke Existence. Um, I mean, I, think, I don't think we can consider the Spike Shot Elder as here. Oh, sorry. There's also a Tri of Corruption. Life's Laugh is also up there. But to me personally, at this point, I think that we want to take either the mirror or the Revoke Existence. Uh. I think we can take the removal spell here. I'm not 100% sure if that's the right choice. Well, Trigon of Corruption is also pretty good as a removal spell. Uh, it's tough. Wow. Um, the Trigon of Corruption is a lot of value. Um, it's an artifact that helps us stay Metalcraft, although we don't have like a super Metalcraft plan here, so we could pass it. But the Copper Mirror is a cheap artifact that helps us trigger our stuff, and it helps us ramp up quickly. Um, this might be completely wrong here, but yeah, I'm going to take the Copper Mirror, just because I don't feel safe enough with the way our deck looks, and I want to have more mana. And now when I say that, I get past two mana mirrors with like nothing else left in the pack, so I felt really bad about that pick, but I guess in retrospect, maybe I could have taken the Revoke Existence, but oh well. Um, at this point, it's one of the mana mirrors. I don't like Oriok Edge right, because it's double white hard to cast. I'm surprised there's still a Sis Bear in this pack, though, but well, I'm not completely surprised. I saw Green was relatively open from the right, but... Uh, huh. 
I mean, I guess it's just more mana meters. There's nothing else to consider here, I guess, because a quarter shield's fine and all, but it's not that great. Uh, which off color mirror we want? I guess black will help us splash things. Because I can't think of any one blue card that's so good that I would want to splash. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take the leaded mirror. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, now we got a choice between Ratchet Bomb and Glint Hawk Idol. Or sorry, Glint Hawk. Um, if I took that Trigon of Corruption at this point, the Glint Hawk would be like no question, I think. The Ratchet Bomb's not that, hasn't been that great for me. It's usually just been a one for one. But I think it's fine enough in our deck because we should be able to get enough value out of it, even if it takes forever to like be able to one for some, one for one someone, we'll eventually one for one someone with it. So it's like a pseudo removal spell. It's a cheap artifact, so it does what we want it to do. So I think I'm going to take it here. Also, I don't have my set of Ratchet Bombs yet, so you can't fault me for taking that. <laughs> Um, I can't believe there's a Tangle Angler still in this pack and a Corpsker. Wait, was this my pack? 19 cards. No, never mind. This is someone else's pack completely. There's another Tangle Angler possibly still running around out there. But uh, considering we're playing green, we can still get value out of Tangle Angler even if we're not in Infect, so I'll take it. Um, I was w talking about Mana Sinks with Calam Tower of Calamities, but I think I found a lot, a much better one in Genesis Wave. So I think I'm going to take that here. Genesis Wave is pretty good. Um, it's definitely better than Oriok Replica Strider Harness. I don't, I don't need a defensive Blight Mamba either. There's a lot of poison cards running around still, I'm surprised. But yeah, I'm going to take the Genesis Wave here. Um, pack doesn't look very exciting. Doesn't look like we can gain anything out of any of these cards. Um, probably just take a Darksteel Mirror. Might not play it, but something worth taking, I guess. Um, wow, there's still nothing for us, I guess, but, uh, take Spell Bomb away from somebody, Bloodshot Trainee, uh, I probably don't want to play against Bloodshot Trainee, our deck doesn't have a good way of dealing with that, so, Green-White doesn't have too much removal. Um, I guess Wing Puncture is a fine sideboard. I'm gonna hide that for now, hide this guy too. A billion vector ass. It's, I swear it's like the same print run over and over and over again. Like these same five commons or so. Uh, I think the archer is another sideboard card. Um, nothing too exciting. I guess I'll take Faravor away from the furnace celebration guy, which would be to our left anyways. But anyways, uh, yeah, nothing here. Just going through the motions at this point. Probably not playing that. Um, uh, deck doesn't look fantastic, but it's okay. We'll see where we can, what the next pack will give us. I think ideally we just want to stock this deck full of like mana creatures and just be able to wrap up to our big late game and just run people over with our giant monsters and our big mana sinks in the late game. Dinosaur! <clears throat> the deck's not particularly exciting, but it's not terrible, so we'll see. Um, that's a skin render, I wish I could take it, but yeah. Uh, wow, the pick here is between um, Palladium Mirror, Copper Mirror, Slice and Twain, Chrome Steed, and Snapshot Glider, and I wish I could take any of these mirrors, or even the Chrome Steed, but I think I have to take a Slice and Twain here, because we have a Revoke Existence, we already passed on one, I kind of feel bad about it, considering what happened. We took a mirror, but then got passed another mirror. Um, yeah, I gotta take a Slice and Twain here, and had I had the Revoke Existence, I might not be taking the Slice and Twain here and taking the Palladium mirror, but not exactly sure how that would have panned out. But taking the Slice and Twain here over... My next choice probably would have been Palladium here if the Slice wasn't here. And then maybe Chrome Steed, I think. But it doesn't look like we have a f too many artifacts, so Metalcraft's sort of like low on the priority list right now. So Slice and Twain. And that's another skin render. Jesus. Oh, man. Wish I was in black. Can I switch? <laughs> uh, I don't think I can switch at this point, considering I just took a colored spell. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, otherwise, the choices for us are Acid Web Spider or Sentinel. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, Jesus. Well, whoever's in black is going to be pretty happy. Double FTK. Uh, well, that's something we don't see every day. That's an Azuri's Brigade, and I think it's going to go straight in this deck. Because um, as far as generic colored uh, Metalcraft creatures go, this is the best one, I think. And yeah, there it goes. Um, nothing exciting for us here. I think um, I would actually like to take the quarter shield here. Some might fault me on this, and I don't blame them, but I don't like any of the colored spells here, and I don't want another dark, uh, a dark steel mirror, and uh, I don't want a soliton, which is off, sort of off color. And the quarter shield is a cheap artifact, so it'll help us in the early game. Um, Huh. Not exactly sure what to take out of this pack. I don't think we need a Carapace Forger because we probably don't need that many colored artifact spells at the moment. Um, I think maybe another uh, Quarter Shield. Actually, the Clone Shell is probably fine. We actually have a lot of Boom Booms in this deck to get out. So um, if it uh, trades for you, then uh, two for one is still two for one. So yeah, do that. Uh, not gonna again. Not gonna play like a third Molder Beast. Maybe the Barb Battle Gear here. Probably not gonna play it. Um, actually, you know what? I don't have my set of Mem Knights yet. I'm just gonna take this Mem Knight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was uncommon drafting. I don't think I would end up playing that Barb Battle Gear anyways, but we'll see. Um, Nothing too exciting here. Maybe I'll, I'll take the dinosaur. I don't think I'm gonna play it though, because probably don't have space for it. Uh, nothing too great here. We, we could probably splash the more replica off that leaded mirror, which seems fine. I'm not gonna put like a uh, swamp in my deck. Or I might. I have a horizon horizon spell bomb. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'll take the more replica here. Uh, nothing great. Um, probably just take something away from somebody. Uh, I don't know how great that poison guy's deck is, but. I'll take a black cleave goblin away from him. Sure, why not? Uh, and I'm gonna take an Iker Claw Mirror away from him. Sure. I can also board Iker Claw Mirror against you know, in fact, so that's fine. Uh, take the Moriak Reaper, I guess. All right, nothing uh, good at this point. Just going through the motions as usual. Oh, I just remembered that um, last time when I uploaded my last video, uh, YouTube told me that uh, I was one of those fortunate members, since I have a high enough subscriber um, count, that I'm able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes long. So before my usual pattern was to uh, divide up my drafts between uh, pack three and then building the deck uh, into two parts. And then um, any any video that went past 15 minutes long, I'd have to divide up into two parts as well, sometimes more. So now, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to keep um, everything in uh, one succinct video, so you don't have to keep switching between them. Uh, but if you're using playlists, I guess it didn't really matter since it auto plays for you. And hence, we are the reason I use playlists on YouTube. But anyways, uh, the white cards. I have two white cards. Maybe I could have switched out of it. Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe I could have went into black. But that ship has long sailed. Um, let's get these in here, sure. Uh, I'm going to put you on the side for now. <clears throat> uh, I'm not playing Mem Knight. Uh, probably going to play a quarter shield. Uh, I only have 13 artifacts, jeez, that's not enough. Uh, okay, you're going to be in there for now. 
Uh, I'm going to sit this on the side for now. I don't know if I really want to play it yet. Um, I'm going to play. I'm going to set the dinosaurs on the side too. They're probably going to come in. We'll just see where we're at at the end of all this. Um, you two. Uh, the Molder Beasts. So at the moment, I have um, 22 cards here with uh, three Mana Mirrors, Orchid Spell Bomb, Horizon Spell Bomb. I probably want a total of two more playables. Um, let's see here. Actually, yeah, I think I have to play the Towers because it's like another artifact. Gets me up there. It's a Mana Sink in the late game. Although I'm not really sure if I want to play it, but we'll see. <clears throat> and sort it all out like that. Um, I wish I could get a wall of tangle cord, but they didn't come. So I think I only saw one. I had to pass it. I guess a dinosaur will probably come in here. Uh. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 colored spells. That means we have 12 artifacts, is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 artifacts. I count Mirror Smith as like one artifact because it usually should be able to get you one mirror. Uh, it's pretty bad for Carapace Forger, so I'm going to sit that guy on the side. Uh, do I want alpha, another Alpha Tyranax or an Untamed Might? Uh, I'm just not happy with Memnite as like a crappy, uh, cheap artifact because it doesn't do anything. Icar Claw Mirror. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I actually think it's probably just better to play 17 lands with 3 mirrors in this deck because we have a lot of high casting cost things. And it's not like our deck is riddled with that much mana. Um, I mean, I guess you can count Horizon Spell Bomb as sort of like a land. So, if you count that as a land and the three mirrors, there's four mana sources in addition to 17 lands being at 21 mana sources. With stuff like Genesis Wave and Tower of Calamities in my deck and Engulfing Slagworm, I think that's actually reasonably fine to just build a deck like this. And this way, with the 17th land, I can add in a swap to make Moriok Replica work. So. I'm actually fine with that. We'll see how it goes. It's probably not the greatest, but uh, yeah, definitely not 15-2. Definitely putting one in here. And yeah, five, no, it's four. Let's see. What about this? 10, six, and one. I think that's fine, because we only ever need one planes in the early game just for a mirror smith. Yeah. 10, 6, and 1 seems fine to me. Let's go that way. Yeah, and uh, so I'll submit this and see you back here for round 1, game 1.